Bleckett says, After the new update, my favorite tribe became Polaris, so maybe you can surprise me. Ha! So I didn't really play Polaris before the update, and now that there is an update, they're changed so drastically that all the guides aren't really relevant anymore, and so I had to make something up for myself just based on testing. Polaris is really a late game tribe, and I had a hard time coming up with solid early moves, but I came up with some general rules of thumb, and then at the end, I'm gonna play a live match and put my concepts to the test. The first part of the strategy begins before the game with the map type. Polaris does the best when their capital starts with water connected to a bigger body of water. They also need a lot of space to let their economy snowball. So for the best results, I would suggest playing on a large map with a lot of water like Archipelago. There are a lot of different ways you can start. Sometimes you'll be landlocked. Sometimes you'll be right next to some big open water. So when you start with lots of water, I'd recommend pushing your Mooney out, not getting a second Mooney. Then you can use outposts to actually connect the cities and that'll save you some money on technology and it'll boost your star income pretty greatly once you build an outpost that connects your capital to your second city. Then I would recommend getting sleds. They're very, very good on ice, pretty bad on land. But when you're on the ice, they're like swordsmen with escape. They're pretty great. The other benefit of sleds in the update is that they reveal where all the stars are. And once you've got two cities that are connected by an outpost, stars are, or navigation is not that expensive to buy. And it'll actually pay for itself with the first star that you get. So I'd recommend if you have a lot of water, grab no extra moonies or warrior, no tech. Just go out into the ocean and look for a second city, connect it to your capital with an outpost, and then get sleds and rush navigation to grab stars out of the water. If you're in more of a landlocked situation, I would recommend still sending your moonie out. I mean, you start with the moonie, it's your only option, and make a warrior and send him exploring across the land. I noticed that Polaris always starts with two animals. And this actually works out pretty well, especially if you've got more than one city with animals because it leads into ice archers, which is pretty useful in the early game if you have to fight. I'd recommend rushing riders. Riders work very well with Polaris, especially if you make uh, moonies down the line once you find enemies, you can freeze them, hit them with a rider and get out of there before they can retaliate. Um, ultimately with Polaris, getting out of OD moves, getting into the later game, but you wanna climb the tech tree that leads to trade so that you can get the ice bank. That's probably the biggest advantage of Polaris. At some point, you also want to grab um, Polarism, which allows you to move all of your units twice as far when they're on ice as if it were roads. And lastly, navigation is really good for grabbing stars out of the water. So if anyone has great ideas for opening the Polaris, put it in the comments. I'll make a video about it later, maybe. And uh, for now, let's see how my concepts work in a live match. So, not a great situation. My capital is totally landlocked, no water at all, so I can't connect with outposts, which is one of my main strategies. But I did get organization because there were frozen fruits in both of these cities, so I'll be able to level up twice with the power of organization. I've only made one unit so far. Uh, I want to know a bit more about what's around me. I see barter terrain, so I'm guessing I'm playing against barter. I think I'm going to go with sledding as soon as I can. That way I can see where the stars are and I'll be able to uh, grab them out of the ocean. I'm already on one. Look at that. And it costs 10. So I will just stay put this turn. I'll make a warrior. So I think that early game navigation should work pretty well most of the time. So I'm going for that. And since I'm making a lot of ice, I'm going to make a Mooney and a sled. Sleds don't move very well on dry land. Oh, look at that. Okay. Oh, another star. 
All right, I need to upgrade, so I'm gonna go for fishing. Then I will be able to upgrade next turn with an outpost. I don't think the sled will be able to move quickly because it's starting on land. Yeah, unfortunately. They're pretty bad on land. Just freeze them all, baby. I can make another sled. Wow, he really rushed water as well. Oof. I think I'm gonna go ahead and freeze them again rather than grab that star. Waiting for server response. I'm gonna need something a bit better for land, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab riding. I'll put a rider down here, because he's far away from the ice anyway. Okay, I think I will go back for that star. Move this guy forward and freeze everything. Oh wow, there was his catapult. Stinks to be you. Um, bring my rider out to the ice. Oh, whoa, I can just do that. <laughs> Look at that pathway. Nice. More battle sleds and more riders. Okay. Oh, I forgot to take the city. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> oh, I'm so stupid. Why did I do that? <laughs> no. Man, this guy has a lot of catapults. Well, let's go ahead and take that back. Revealing clouds as I go. One, two, three. Now you can see me no matter what. Yeah. Whoops. Why, Father? Why? Might as well go here. Okay, bring this rider out. I think I do want roads, but I'll wait a second. How close am I to getting the uh, ice sledding polars on 13? If I get that next turn, I'll be able to take that catapult. Man, how many catapults does this guy have? All right, get ready to get overwhelmed with ice. So here comes that polarism. Super useful. No! One, two, three, four. I should be able to reach. One, two, three, four. Oh, I guess I can't. Um, can I take one out? Yes. Oh, and I can go that far, thanks to the polarism. And he resigned. Okay. So, uh, I couldn't exactly give you great strategy early game, but there's an example of a good win. <laughs> All right, that's it for the openers. Uh, if you disagree with any of my openings, or you know something that I didn't catch, or uh, even if you want to tell me I did a great job or give me a suggestion for a future video, uh, put it down in the comments. I'd love to see it and I'll reply if I can. Um, if you found that to be useful or entertaining, then give me a like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. It keeps me going. It keeps me motivated. Uh, by the way, this was a Christmas tree behind me the whole time. I don't know if uh, that was easy to see or not, but thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Happy New Year.